Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles X. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Mad Monk Affinity Mission. And to help me out, I decided to swap out Elma and Lin and try and raise the affinity of some of my other party members. Because at the moment, they're like affinity level 3 or maybe even 4. Well, Wow and L are kind of a little bit on the lower side, and just a bit of warning, you're going to want one heart of affinity with Lau and this very soon, actually, to start the next main store mission, by the way, so just thought I'd mention that now, and to help us gain some affinity with Lau, we're actually going to do another affinity mission that will grant us an extra party member. Which I unfortunately won't be able to use for quite some time, but hey, that's alright. And as long as you live outside of Japan, the backup request basic mission should be available to you. This is mandatory to accept and turn in to get access to this affinity mission. So around level 20, it should be available to you. And this is not my scale. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, kind of weird, I guess. I mean, they are the same model and everything, but I. The, the, the absence of weapons should have been a dead giveaway. Anyways, right over near the eastern gate is the actual spot in which this affinity mission is. And like I said before, this is going to help us out in getting affinity with L. So let's get to it. Are you the one they paired me with? Hmm. You have the look at least. But what about inside? Does your heart burn with a flame hot enough to forge a true blade? Yes. Your eyes tell a thousand tales that no words can match. Finally, the fates have delivered to me a partner worthy of my trust. Forgive me. I am Bose Lowe's, proud member of the Harriers. I will be a partner on this job. But please, call me Sensei. Do you know this term? It's what some Eastern cultures used to call teachers and wise men back on Earth. Ah, a kindred spirit, I see. <laughs> I used to travel in such places collecting antiquities, Buddha carvings and the like. Oh, and bonsai trees. Just looking at them is enough to soothe the most wounded of souls. Pray tell. What is it about the East that draws you? No, belay that. We start down this path. We'll be talking until dawn. Let us focus on the mission. A few days ago, a group of blades left the city to hunt some indigents. And they've not been heard from since. Our job is to track them down. If we also happen to take care of the indigents along the way, so much the better. Rest easy, my friend. Sensei will show you what it means to be a true hero. The day is young, and victory is in the air. We rock! So, Bose Lowe's really likes his Japanese crap and is also. A harrier, despite being a partisan eagle, that kind of focuses mainly on ranged con- I don't really get it, but hey, he'll be kind of cool. And speaking of which, just to speed things on, I'm not gonna use Bose anytime soon, so I'm just gonna spam as many, like, of his physical arts as I can. He's gonna start out level 20, he's not gonna know crap, so I'm just gonna get his basic arts a little bit high level, but now that we've taken care of that, let's head to Noctilum and... See what we can't find in the cesspool. Gotta say, not the most appealing name for an area in a video game, but hey, what are you gonna do? Follow this path for long enough in Southern Noctilum, and you should reach the entrance to the cesspool, which uh, is apparently where the Harriers met their untimely demise. <laughs> not bad, newcomer. Your skills are matched only by your impressive guts. Huh? A Xeno. <laughs> you... You are a 
on our humans, right? But please help me, okay? I ran into trouble and hurt myself. My legs don't really work right now, you know? So, so if any creatures show up, I'm a gonna... That's a real shame. But I fear our own people must come before you. I'll not waste precious time on a Xeno. What? Please wait, okay? Aren't Manon and humans friends? Friends? Humans have no Xeno friends. Humans need no Xeno friends. Come, let us tarry with this degenerate beast no longer. Fine, but make it fast. I know that while I think this is folly, arguing would just waste more precious time. Oh, really? Well, there should be some Lunaria flowers growing nearby, you know? Can you maybe bring me some? I should be able to use them with the healing device I built to get my legs working again. Please find me those Lunaria flowers, alright? Uh, Bose, did you, did you not get the memo that me? Uh, we're kind of we're kind of friends with the man on. You're being a little bit uh racist. Not cool, dude. Uh, any luck? Did you find the Monaria flowers? In fact, I did. And in case you weren't so lucky in gathering these flowers, they can be found in this location. You can pay us back by slamming shut that gob of yours and getting out of here. We too must leave. Blades await us further in, and we've wasted more than enough time here. Boza, I, I get it, you really want to help your hair, your friends, but at the same time, that took literally no time at all. How are we wasting any time that you think someone that's so interested in foreign cultures want to be so. Xenophobic. Okay, that's kind of the point of the game. Anyways, now that we've taken care of that, let's hightail it out. Well, not really out of the cesspool. We're kind of going deeper into it. I really do not want to aggro any of these high level. What the dump? Where did that thing just go? Well, that is going to kind of put a damper on my plans because I'm pretty sure that thing's not going to desp. <sighs> Reggie, I'd love to help you and your marvelous company. But, uh, yeah, I need to get that enemy to despawn. God dang it. Luckily for us, that did not take too long. And Reggie, now that that enemy has been eliminated, how you holding up, dude? Wait, don't eat me. I taste terrible. Oh, please let this all be some kind of bad dream. Huh? Are you... Did you come here to save me? Oh, thank you. Those things ate everyone else. And I was sure I was next. <laughs> so you ran off in a blind panic? What happened to centering yourself, Reggie? S sensei what are you doing here? You were off on a mission. You think some patrol job is more important than coming to my student's rescue? I secured powerful backup and came running. Now get a grip, son. R right. Thank you, sir. You're in for a hell of a dressing down later. For now, let's finish this. They weren't far behind me. Please, just kill them so we can all go back to New L.A. alive. Leave it to us. We'll show these monsters what true warriors can do. The true, true warriors can do. Bose, these things are level 14. A toddler with a knife could be... Th okay, I'm joking. Anyways, so this is essentially why I brought L and La with me. is because there's a very high chance that when I'm fighting enemies for two minutes straight, I'm going to be triggering a lot of soul voices, which is really all you need to do to get a high affinity level. But in reality, 
doesn't matter. Here's the gist of this, guys. I'm gonna be fighting these things for two minutes straight. And then after this wave of enemies, more enemies come. It's not too fun. You could try and speed up the process and get a little bit of extra EXP, but here's the thing. It's not like defend Reggie for- okay, I got cut in. I could use another Buster Blade very much. In reality, it would kind of be a waste of fuel, but I don't really care. <laughs> a little bit of overkill there, but yes, I'm just going to be grinding out for another minute or so, and then I'll get to you guys once I'm done. And, well, we did not really even beat that many bugs. Kind of an uneventful grinding session. Even though it's not really a grinding session, but yeah, after you beat another giant swarm of enemies, here comes some more crabs. G guess what? It's the same bull crap. And as long as you just trigger the soul voices of your allies, like, you're not gonna die. This is a super easy mission. There should be no risk of you dying here. And look at that, I'm not, I, the only one that took any damage is L, and that's because he has trash talk, which makes everyone forced to fight him. Yeah, that was really easy, and I saved you guys a lot of time. Reggie, how you holding up, man? I hope you're doing good. Kind of saved your butt there. Why do you still cow over there, son? It's finished. I, Sensei, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't put any of what you taught me into practice. <laughs> You always said never to betray my team. But I ran. I left them to die. It's over. I'm leaving Blade. I never should have joined in the first place. A coward like me will never be the sort of warrior you taught us about. Hmm. It's a fine thing to reflect on our weaknesses from time to time. Wouldn't you agree? That's kind of you, but that sort of kindness usually winds up hurting people. If a guy like me keeps trying, it will only put more people in danger. Hmm, I see. Cuts! You turn your comrades' deaths into an excuse to flee! Grow up and face the truth, son! You're just afraid because some monster nearly ate you alive! But look past that. Think on the future. Do we whimper and die, or do we find the life hold and reclaim what we have lost? S sensei You're better than this. Now stand still so I can knock some guts into you. You can carry this weight, son. Huh? Sometimes a man needs a good punch. It's my responsibility to get him past this. How many years has it been since I was a student at the Academy? And yet you came all this way for me. I'm undeserving. And yet you treat me like your own family. You're an inspiration, Sensei. When you put it like that, you know I can't run away. <laughs> Damn right you can't. Now get your butt back to New LA. Train like you've never trained before. And show the Harriers what you're made of! Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Sorry to make you see that. Still, he's got a heart like a gong, that one. Strike it firm, and it rings true. So you wish to learn, do you? I have a soft spot for your kind. Well... No sense lingering here now that the job's done. Let's get moving. Um, hold on, please? Who's there? It's me! The Red Arm, you saved. Uh, remember? Ah, the Xenome. I see your legs are once again in working order. All thanks to... to you, right? Which is why I brought you this! What is it? Some kind of transmitter? Sounds bizarre. I have no need for such trinkets. All a blade needs is a well-honed heart and a body to house it. 
We humans. Uh, can you please just take it? Maybe call it a good luck charm or something? Right then. I'll just be me going, okay? <laughs> I do not understand those men on it all. Come. Eleonora will be waiting for our report. Stay sharp on the road home. Danger always comes just when you start to relax. Well, have you ever tried to understand the man on? Jose, yeah. This guy seemed like a cool character in the beginning, but now he's just kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I don't like, want to like him, but he's... It's just kind of weird. Anyways, he's right, though. Let's see Eleonora. If I could blade HQ. Welcome back. How was the mission? Not half bad. Thanks to the fine partner you scouted for me. With his help, we got Reggie home safe and sound. Am I hearing things? Every other recruit I paired you with has come home in tears. They usually get a little overwhelmed from all the lectures. You see? Such humility is at the heart of true Eastern philosophy. If we'd met at the Academy, I could have trained you from the ground up. What a shame. But perhaps it's not too late. Why don't we keep working together? I can help make you one of the true Blade elites. Well, what say you? Your answer pleases me. In truth, I'd have taught you anyway. This just saves me the trouble. Now, let us start again as master and pupil. I am Bose Lowe's. People call me the hairier hand. My fists pound any deviation straight. God, I hate that last one. I pound any de deviation. Dude, shut the heck up. I mean, I, I want to like Bose. He seems like a cool character, and I want to see where his, like, excessive racism goes and how it might change or something. But seriously, that last night was so corny, and that's coming from me. But, yeah, Bose, you're racist. I don't want to deal with you right now. Instead, let's grab ourselves Doug, who I've been neglecting forever because at the moment, I kind of want to increase his affinity a little bit. So, I'm gonna use this little leveling session for maybe this episode and a little bit later to do so and to help us out with that. Let's try and change his armor up a bit so... Uh, yeah, total melee. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care that much. <laughs> He's gonna get better stuff later on, but... I wanna do one more side quest in this episode just because I really, really like this one and yet again, it is a man on one. And to do so, we need to head to the church in the residential district, which is just one short walk away. Or fast travel if you kinda of forgot where it was and for what possible reason must I believe in an invisible existence simply to receive some water? Uh, what's going on here? Blasphemy? You would openly mock our bringer of miracles? I don't rightly see how I can mock something that does not exist. I'm asking just for a little water everyone else here is drinking, okay? One sip and I'll be on my way. Such presumption. And yet, even still, our God decrees that his miraculous water be shared with you. If you refuse to join our faith, the cost will be two assassin springtail. Out of the question, yes. Now stop this stubborn selfishness and let me hack some of the water. I tend a large flock of men on, but never once have I met someone as rude as you. Maliteth, please remove this unbeliever from the premises. Uh, what the heck is going on here? I'm sorry, but, but I ask you to leave. Yes, only those who believe in the bringer of miracles are welcome in our church, you understand. You seem incapable of such faith, don't you? As a follower of men on, I pity you. Um, that does not seem how most church- well, I, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, this guy looks like he kind of needs our help. How's it going, man? And did you catch all that? Do you bind all the invisible god nonsense that woman was talking about? Uh, no, actually. It sounds like a lot of bullcrap, I gotta say, if I'm being honest. And you're a rational human, aren't you? It seems we share the same opinion. But I fear rumor has spread that the water from this church can cure the disease presently sweeping the Menon community. 
Oh, there's a disease going on? I will be candid with you, okay? I suspect this group caused the outbreak intentionally, perhaps as a means of recruiting more members. If my hypothesis is correct, I am duty-bound as physician to take action, aren't I? I mean, we can help too, man, and if I could just acquire a sample of this miracle water, I can analyze its contents and expose their plot, can't I? Do you find this cult suspicious as well? Maybe? Will you join me in unmasking the phrase as a fraud? Uh, I can definitely do that because this is something I heavily believe in. No cults in NLA, okay? We, we made a deal that's probably bad and to help him out. We need to require two assassin springtails. Meanwhile, I'll go investigate the water facility. First case of mana failing ill occurred just after that plan was completed, you see. Therefore, we must take action. Okay, I'm with you, dude. And apparently, he already surveyed the area really. Okay, that joke's getting really old. This is the location of the spring and can I, can, can I get over <laughs> If you need them, they're right here. In what was the name of science? Where are those creatures? I was on my way to Biano Lake. When a pack of them forced me to turn tail and run back here. This planet is certainly generous with the ways to die violently, isn't it? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, man, it should go easy. You should definitely have an escort next time you go at it. A few bumps from occasional stumbling, but we're not. Dr. Sakata has treated far worse, haven't I? I'll have myself patched up in no time. Okay, man, just be more careful next time. We kind of need you if we're going to expose this cult and all. That's my report. What about you? I got your stuff right here. It may take a little bit of a while to get two of these springtails, just throwing that out there, but nothing too difficult if you have the right armor on and stuff. And astonishing. Thank you so much. And All right, Freze. A deal is a deal, isn't it? Let's have some of your miracle water. Hmm. <laughs> I never expected you to actually track down two assassin springtails. Very well, as you say, I made a promise. I shall stand by it. Now, I assume you have no further business here. Then I ask that a brutish unbeliever like yourself never return to our church. Good day! So, this is their miracle water then. I must say, looks like every other water I've experienced. I see, yes. This tastes just like... Uh, just like what? Still, I need to analyze it more closely before I can be certain of anything. I'd like to ask you to visit the Biano Lake Water Purification Plant. See if anything seems amiss. If that is okay with you. If we can gather one more piece of evidence from there to tie to this case, phrase it down. Is that the best thing to discuss right in front of her? Let's be back here once we're done, okay? Uh, I'm on it, boss, and uh, yeah, I guess we should head to the power plant. And this is one of the first instances in how the geography of Mira can change. If you didn't do the quest to actually build the purification plant, this entire quest line would not exist. So, yeah, kind of the cool thing about Xenoblade. And we're also going to be back here in the next episode to check this place out more thoroughly. In the meantime, though, Mally Teth, what the dump are you doing here? And why you look so suspicious? I do not like the looks of this. And go forth, bringer of miracles. Share your... Excellent gift with all the man on in the new LA. Yes. Um, I have many questions. I don't like the looks of this either. Who is it? What are you doing here? Uh, just good. Okay, Kafido, you're doing something funny with the water lady. I don't like it. And me, me, yes, nothing, no. Um, this this bottle's not. I, I didn't do anything. Okay. Um. Get back here. We demand an interrogation as you walk away at a very mild pace. AK to the other side of the... What the dump is going on here, man? I don't like this quest. <laughs> I mean, I know what's happening, but it's just really weird. It's a very odd vibe. And not here. This can't stop here. Not after the Bringer of Miracles has grown so large on this medicine, right? Um, that all depends on it exactly your miracle bringer is doing. Let's just take the bottle and this is the miracle water that makes the other miracle water be miraculous, isn't it? And you will never have it, will you? No, 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 no. Bring your miracles. Hear my prayer, won't you? Make manifest your power now. Um. Oh. Ah, I see, yes. I can see my god. I knew, yes, Freze, you, you are the true deliverer of the- 
Well, that is uh, pretty weird. And as this man on dies, she'll drop the bottle that we should probably give back to the doctor. Yeah, she's dead. That sucks. All right, let's head back to NLA. That's <laughs> I make very light of the scenario. So we got your bottle back. Oh, and it is raining. And your miracle water is a scam, isn't it? It's nothing but an intoxin used to neutralize a very specific poison. Correct. Wake up, my friends. The bringer of miracles doesn't exist. How sad. That your lack of faith leads you to invent lies that tear down others. I'm sure you have no proof of these absurd claims. Proof? And what about you then? What proof do you have that this, this invisible god of yours even exists? Why, his presence is manifest in the man on healed by his miracle water. What further proof do you require? Isn't that correct, everyone? Are you all not firm in your belief of the bringer of miracles? You couldn't do anything for me when I went to see you, Doctor. No, but her god cured me. Bring of Miracles succeeded when Manon's science failed. Fraze is a savior. Her to heal all sick Manon with her god's miraculous power. But it's not rational, is it? You have your answer, Doctor. The man on you, the bringer of miracles. Not a sad man of science who refuses to see the truth in front of his face. Now leave this place immediately. Um, well, we have some evidence we'd like to share in Malitith. Escort our guests at- Yeah, about her! She kind of kicked the bucket and we saw all of it. There's nothing you can do to convince us. This bottle's evidence, lady. Your entire show is up, and I gave that bottle to Melitev. Why do you? My perfect timing. I became a little impatient and started the confrontation without you. You see. <laughs> Gotta say, I do the same in your position. Let's see that bottle, all right? On this farseer now. Here you go, bro. I don't like the way my can make it. like, here you go. There's incriminating evidence, and Fraze, yourself confirmed that this was in Melitev's possession, didn't you? Now look, everyone. See what happens when someone drinks this, okay? Wait, don't be a test sub- No! Doc! Do we even have an anti-venom and- uh, This is poison. Extract from excess and sprig tails. An engineer to affect only men on, isn't it? You are planning to dump this in Biano Lake and claim it too as a disease affecting the men on who drink. That water and fall ill, weren't you? Then, what well, they... When they drink your miracle cure. Oh, God. Doc, are you gonna be okay, man? I know I just met you and all, but I'm kind of attached. Mostly because you kind of seem like house, in a way. Their symptoms vanish immediately, don't they? A miracle indeed. No. Wait, wait. Is that really? That's fraud, right? Fraze, is what the doctor says true? Of course not. Whatever drug that doctor has, he absolutely cooked it up to undermine our beliefs. I beg to differ, in fact. Fraze's fingerprints are on the bottle. You, you lie. I'll have it checked out immediately. Then we'll have our answers, won't we? Dang. Dang, Melitev. You had one job, one job. Couldn't even do that right. Bring of miracles, render these fools to ash! Your burning light. You stand in defiance of our righteous and vengeful God. Now you and your sins will be purged from this world for all time. Somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing we nipped that in the bud before things got really ugly with the man on human relations and I'm glad that whole mess is over with, right? I could have done it without you, could I? Here, take this, along with my thanks. Well, don't mind if I do, and oh boy, that's pretty generous of you, Doctor. I'll take those credits and, uh, hollow figures. I didn't know you were a collector, and this whole debacle just further proves to me that belief in invisible and testable things is in madness, isn't it? 
Manon kept come this far without any gods, haven't we? I'd say that's to our credit. As a physician, I think it's my job to protect my people from this sort of dangerous illusion in the future. Well, here's the thing, man. I gotta honestly disagree. I do think there's some things in this world science can't explain, but at the same time. Science is really important. So you believe some supernatural being is out there just watching us? I'm afraid I just can't understand this. But I respect your opinion, okay? So perhaps I'll explore the matter further before I reach that final conclusion. And you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with that, Staccata. I respect your opinion, and hopefully you'll do the same to me, but... Yeah, that was a really interesting normal mission. I gotta say, I really like that one a lot. It's, uh, definitely different than your run-of-the-mill RPG quest, and I really hope I can get on this church and end the episode off right. But yes, the residential district is full of quests like that, and we're gonna be doing some more in the next episode, since we really need to get some more EXP, but... I hope you guys enjoyed it. This little side quest episode was a whole lot of fun to make, and I hope you'll tune in to the next episode where we do some more normal missions in the residential district. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.